new toy line leaks may have just given us concrete proof of the release date for the beta. Let's go over everything in detail of what we got today. So early this morning, we got a leaked look at the two-pack or Starscream and Bumblebee, which actually use the certain affinity um, name for the game, Transformers Rise, which was kind of weird, right? Because why would they have the new release date, which this is obviously like when it is coming out like this is pre-orderable on the website here and um so december 15th is when this toy pack is coming out and you know with game awards at december 7th and you know this the 15th is only about a week after the game awards which is highly speculated that we will get a trailer no without a doubt we will get a trailer here so earlier this morning we got that then right after that we got this look on the same website it has the optimus prime and soundwave 2 pack available for pre-order but it has no images of it which was kind of sad but you know it is what it is then we got new images about maybe 30 40 minutes after and it gives us insane details of what they look like in depth so here we can see the uh box that we had earlier along with the outside box models. So we can see that Starscream and Bumblebee will be getting like obviously weapons they can hold and uh, Starscream has the wrist mounted weapons. Um, he actually looks exactly like uh, this model from the game. Uh, but yeah, we got that. And then we got what they look like in their alt mode. Bumblebee obviously has his weapons attached to his hood which in robot mode he can hold after you transform him and i believe he transforms in 20 something steps along with starscream and uh these models look exactly like they do in the uh leaked images for that dpz luna did reveal back in december especially the starscream one it looks identical right and we get a new look at uh the same character models we get a different look and it's just the same image and we get the back of the box. This is where it gets mad, right? So Bumblebee, it confirms that Bumblebee is in 20 steps, Starscream is in 26 steps, but that's not it. Look at the bottom right. Cutscenes slash gameplay of Transformers Reactivate. This is our first look at gameplay for TFR. That is mad. And it also, for some reason, has the splash damage uh, logo on the box. That then raises some questions. Why is Splash Damage's logo on the box, right? This is Certain Affinity's, uh, you know, name for the game. Uh, Splash Damage revealed theirs as Reactivate, and uh, it's not Rise, which is very weird. So this makes me believe that this toy box started production like the month that Splash Damage took full control over the game. So all they did was change the logo out for theirs, and then that's it. They didn't care about having the name uh, longer, which obviously will look weird on the box, and it looks nicer with Rise on it. So this makes me believe that they just changed the logo on the box, and they just said, all right, that's good enough, you know? After that, we got much, much more. Now this one started up some controversy. This next image was thought to be fake originally, but it is most likely real, and here's why. This image that is on screen now looked exactly like a fake image, right? It says first person down in the bottom right, which is obviously not correct since we know it is a third person action game. Um, this is obviously from the certain affinity days from the bottom right. You can see certain affinities fire uh, emblem there in the sea. And we can see the shine name, Bumblebee and Starscream look exactly how they do in the toys or at least a general idea. Optimus Prime and Soundwave, they look completely different from the leaks that we've seen. And they legit took the image that was leaked and put it on here. And you can see these numbers, which look really weird. I don't know why they're there, but obviously the designs are different. All of the designs, kind of besides Starscream, Starscream kind of looks similar. But yeah, Bumblebee was definitely changed. Optimus Prime was 100% changed. Soundwave looks mad different now. 
and actually uh, at the top we can see someone's name and me and DPZ Luna actually found out who this is this is a guy that works at Hasbro and we deduced that this was from like an early early like maybe 2017 to 2018 kind of deal we think this is from like that long ago because it has certain affinities logo on it that we know they were kicked off the project back in 2020 and they still have the name rise which was basically in around the 2018 to 2019 time so they were still kind of getting their design set up and i'm guessing they, this was a call to set up the toy packaging and the toy marketing so this certain affinity developer was on a call with hasbro to set up their toy marketing and everything along with the packaging and uh set up the designs but that's weird because it says first person and the game already by then by this time of the call was already a third person game it was never a first person game I'm guessing they just got that wrong now. I don't know. But it is what it is. Yeah, and uh, here we can see that DPZ Luna even tweeted saying that these are not the current designs. They are pre-alpha version 1 concept designs. Back from when certain affinity managed the game with it being around the pre-alpha build for timeline reference. And this is what they looked like back then during the same time. And obviously they look very accurate. They use the same Starscream image from this one to this one. So this is definitely legit. I think it just got the first person thing wrong. But uh, yeah, so with the toy line releasing in December 15th, what does that look like for Transformers Reactivate's toy line, right? So that means we will get probably Silence again for the next two-ish months and then marketing is going to kick up on december 7th during the game awards it will reveal a cgi trailer along with a new beta date set for december 15th along with the toy line launch we can expect the beta to go on for at least a week or two until the devs go on to break the beta closes they take all the feedback and they get to work right after the break is over so uh yeah these are all the toy leaks it's been a crazy day i'm sorry i wasn't able to upload um earlier i was at school so uh me and luna have all of the socials discord reddit twitter community steam group everything so join in the link in the description we're really close to some big milestones so yeah uh join those and it's been tf reaper see y'all boys later